Environmental science is a really broad major. We'd like to give you a really good background in the hard sciences like chemistry, biology, and physics so that you'll be prepared to face any problem that might come your way when you're working with environmental issues. So I chose environmental sciences because I knew that I didn't want to take the traditional approach when it came to the environment. I wanted to definitely have the hardcore science background and learn all about the environment, but I also wanted to take um, an approach from a human dimension aspect. I really wanted to get into learning about how our environmental decisions impact people and especially underrepresented people. The environmental science program requires that every um, student have a focal area, so we choose a specific area within environmental sciences or that coincides with environmental sciences that we would like to study. And for me that was environmental justice, but it can be anything from business to hydrotoxicology. I chose my focal area of hydrotoxicology because I really love studying water quality and I love applying chemistry to real life situations, especially those that affect lots of people because water security is a huge issue in the developing world. My focal area is entomology, which is the study of insects. I chose it because I've been always really interested in insects and their diversity and their effects on the environment and how they affect human life as well. A lot of my uh, science labs go outside into the field. Um, for example, in ecology, just the other week we were going out and determining what species of ants live in different anthills across campus. Every week it's a new experience going out to either a different forest or a different stream to look at species composition and really just getting our hands dirty in general. Environmental sciences can take you just about anywhere that you would love to go within the major. Um, I know people who do environmental consulting, urban planning, um, environmental justice work, there's water quality work, there's air quality work, there's toxicology, there's just about all kinds of things. There's even environmental educators and so if you are interested in it, then there's something for everyone. 